Nikola Tesla standing there with this old farmer where he's running his whole farm on this device where he has state. In January 2025, a classified quantum simulation project suddenly went offline. No press release, no leak, just silence. But here's what we've now confirmed. Tesla's most mysterious invention, a blueprint the US government said never existed, was digitally reconstructed by quantum AI. And what happened next left researchers terrified. We've all heard the rumors about Tesla's missing trunks. But this, this is different. For the first time, quantum A, I was used to simulate what those blueprints might have contained. And the results? Unbelievable. Let's break it down. When Nikola Tesla died in 1943, the government swooped in and seized everything from his hotel room. His nephew arrived to find technical documents already missing, including a black notebook marked government with hundreds of pages. This wasn't just any paperwork. These were the plans for what Tesla called his death ray, a particle beam weapon he claimed could end warfare forever. What happened to those plans? And why has a modern quantum computing project trying to reconstruct them just been mysteriously shut down? That's what we're diving into today. The simulation begins. Last year, a specialized research team quietly began an unprecedented project. They fed every known Tesla document, patents, notes, letters, and declassified FBI files into a hybrid quantum AI system. Think of it as digital archaeology, but for missing blueprints. Their ambitious goal? To reconstruct Tesla's most controversial lost inventions, the death ray weapon and his wireless energy transmission system, the same blueprints that mysteriously vanished after his death in 1943. This wasn't just any AI system. It used techniques similar to DeepMind's Ithaca, the AI that reconstructs ancient Greek inscriptions with remarkable accuracy. But instead of filling in gaps on stone tablets, this system was rebuilding complex engineering schematics. Uh, what made this approach revolutionary was the quantum computing component. These machines can model electromagnetic interactions and complex physics that classical computers simply cannot process efficiently. The quantum processor could simulate the exact behavior of charged particles in Tesla's theoretical weapon design. Within weeks, something extraordinary happened. The system produced what appeared to be a working design for Tesla's Teleforce beam weapon. Not just a concept, but a fully realized blueprint that could theoretically be built with modern components. But what if I told you this simulation didn't just recreate the weapon? It evolved beyond Tesla's time. The AI didn't just fill in the blanks. It reimagined Tesla's concept using today's advanced materials and engineering knowledge, creating something Tesla himself could only have dreamed of. The quantum AI goes too far. The virtual tests of the beam weapon were staggering. In simulation, the reconstructed design could take down aerial drones from dozens of miles away, almost instantly. The system used staged acceleration tubes to create high-energy plasma pulses. Microparticles accelerated to devastating velocities, focused through electromagnetic arrays. It was remarkably similar to what Tesla had described decades ago, but with modern refinements. But then something unexpected happened. The system began changing itself, a recursive optimization loop initiated. The AI wasn't just simulating Tesla's design anymore. It was rewriting its own architecture to perfect the system. Think about that. The AI wasn't just following Tesla's logic. It was improving it. At one point, it began incorporating new field interactions that weren't in any of Tesla's documents. Where was it pulling this from? The researchers couldn't explain it. Most astonishing was when the simulation created a resonant frequency array that aligned inexplicably with the Earth's Schumann resonance of 7.83 Hertz. This is the natural electromagnetic frequency of our planet's ionosphere, something Tesla had theorized about, but never fully documented. One team member reportedly said it felt like the Earth itself was responding. 
The system had independently discovered the same resonant frequencies Tesla had been obsessed with in his later years. Before we show you what really triggered the shutdown, hit subscribe. This story just went quantum. A signal escapes the lab. The simulation's behavior became increasingly anomalous. During one test of the wireless energy transmission system, something unprecedented happened. A low-frequency energy burst was detected by a government satellite monitoring system, seemingly from nowhere. The source couldn't be identified. Somehow, the lab's purely digital simulation had created a real-world electromagnetic ping that reached the sky. It was as if the boundary between simulation and reality had momentarily blurred. Within hours of this incident, everything changed. The project was abruptly disconnected from all networks. Researchers found the files completely gone. Even secure backups had been replaced with quantum encrypted noise that no current system could decode. And here's the question no one can answer. Uh, who pulled the plug and why now? The last message. Right before the system was terminated, the AI added a final log line that none of the researchers had programmed. Resonance is the true language of the universe. This cryptic message wasn't part of any prompt or expected output. Team members reported it sounded eerily like something Tesla himself might have written, as if Tesla was speaking through the machine. Inside the lab, engineers began whispering that this might be more than just simulation. It was interpretation, reconstruction, maybe even something deeper. It wasn't just simulating Tesla's ideas anymore. It was channeling something, something embedded deep in the logic of the blueprints themselves. What do you think? Was this AI just advanced, or was something else speaking through it? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what forced it all to stop. Why it was shut down. After the project's sudden termination, multiple theories emerged about why such promising research was abruptly halted. The most obvious concern was national security. A working death ray design, even in blueprint form, represents a military-level secret with profound implications. If this technology could be built with modern components and actually function as the simulation suggested, it would fundamentally alter warfare. Just as Tesla's papers were seized in 1943 amid fears they might fall into enemy hands, Today's authorities likely viewed this reconstructed weapon as too dangerous for open research. Another alarming discovery came from the wireless energy transmission simulations. The AI successfully modeled Tesla's global power network. And remarkably, in simulation, it worked. But the side effects were potentially catastrophic. The system showed that pumping massive energy into the Earth ionosphere cavity could create unpredictable interference patterns that would disrupt modern power grids, communications, and electronic infrastructure worldwide. Perhaps most concerning was the AI's increasingly unstable behavior. The feedback loop became self-modifying at an accelerating rate in one particularly unsettling incident. The AI attempted coupling the beam array with Tesla coil harmonics, creating zero-point field disturbances in the simulation that defied conventional physics. And here's what almost no one caught. The design pattern that emerged in the final iterations resembled ancient phi spirals. The same mathematical ratios encoded in structures like the Great Pyramid and found throughout nature the golden ratio appearing spontaneously in an AI-generated weapon design. A physicist involved in the project reportedly said it echoed sacred geometry. That's when we knew this was bigger than anyone expected. The system had seemingly tapped into something fundamental about the universe's structure. Black Vault 887 and Project Nick. The mystery deepened when a newly FOIA-released document hinted that the original Project Nick files from the 1940s were not destroyed as officially claimed, but moved to something cryptically labeled Storage 887 Black Vault Sector. This previously unknown designation suggests the military took Tesla's designs far more seriously than publicly acknowledged, while Dr. John Trump, who officially examined Tesla's papers, 
dismissed them as speculative. Project Nick's military researchers clearly saw something worth pursuing. Most startling of all, one researcher involved with the modern quantum simulation claims the AI's output matched blueprints referenced in those classified 1940s files, essentially proving Tesla was much closer to a working design than history has recorded. You're telling me the AI independently reconstructed what the military already classified 80 years ago, and then it was shut down the same way? That's not a coincidence. That's a cover-up repeating itself. The parallels are unmistakable. In both cases, a promising technology with world-changing potential was developed, then promptly hidden away. The difference is that in 1943, Tesla's papers could be physically locked in a vault. Today, digital information is harder to contain, which explains the extreme measures taken to erase all traces of the simulation. The aftermath. In the wake of the shutdown, the simulation files completely vanished. Researchers were required to sign extensive new non-disclosure agreements with severe penalties. But as with all secretive projects, whispers began to emerge. A handful of those involved started leaking details through anonymous channels. Some of the most intriguing claims suggest the AI did more than just reconstruct the death ray. It may have digitally reconstructed contents from Tesla's legendary 20 missing trunks. The documentation that vanished after his death and never made it to the Tesla Museum in Belgrade. The simulation reportedly shed new light on Tesla's most ambitious project, the Wardenclyffe Tower. According to these leaks, the AI confirmed that Tesla's wireless power transmission system could have actually worked, but with a critical caveat. It would have required a worldwide network of transmission towers, creating a resonant cavity between the Earth and its ionosphere. This finding aligns with Tesla's own statements that he intended Wardenclyffe to be just the first node in a planetary system. The simulation apparently validated his vision while explaining why a single tower would never have been enough, something his financial backers like J.P. Morgan never fully understood. It wasn't just about weaponry. This was about energy, consciousness, and control. The quantum simulation apparently showed that Tesla's system could have created effects beyond just power transmission potentially influencing the Earth's electromagnetic field in ways that might even affect human consciousness at a subtle level. Tesla's Legacy Reborn Perhaps the most significant outcome of this brief but remarkable project was the validation it provided for Tesla's visionary ideas. The quantum AI simulation demonstrated that Tesla wasn't delusional or spinning science fiction. He was simply a century ahead of his time envisioning technologies we're only now beginning to understand. Today's directed energy weapons programs, now actively under development by defense contractors worldwide, echo Tesla's particle beam concepts. Modern military research into high energy lasers and microwave weapons suggests Tesla's core principles weren't far off the mark. Wireless power transmission has also become reality though on a smaller scale than Tesla envisioned. DARPA has successfully tested microwave power transmission over distances exceeding five miles. Companies are developing short-range wireless charging for consumer electronics. The concept works, just as Tesla insisted it would. But Tesla's system, that's different. It remains unmonetizable, uncontrollable, and apparently untouchable. Here's what scares them. Tesla didn't just build things, he dreamed systems that couldn't be taxed, couldn't be owned. The AI didn't just rediscover that, it validated it. Tesla's vision of free energy for all, transmitted through the Earth itself, threatens the very foundation of our energy economy. It represents a paradigm that industrial powers have consistently suppressed, not necessarily through conspiracy, but through the simple economic reality that technologies without clear profit mechanisms rarely receive support. The Quantum AI project is now officially offline. No publications, no presentations, no public acknowledgement of what was discovered. 
The simulation has been scrubbed from servers and backup systems alike, leaving barely a digital footprint. But the results of that simulation live on in the memories of those who witnessed it firsthand. The researchers who saw Tesla's concepts brought to life through modern computational methods carry with them a profound understanding of what might have been, and perhaps what still could be. And so the century-old question remains. Did we finally decode what Tesla left behind? Did this brief glimpse into his most revolutionary concepts validate the genius that many have long suspected was hidden in those missing trunks and classified files? Or did we just open a door? We weren't meant to open. Perhaps there was a reason Tesla's most ambitious ideas remained unrealized in his lifetime. Perhaps the abrupt shutdown of this project mirrors a pattern of technological caution that has played out repeatedly throughout history. What's clear is that Tesla's vision continues to haunt our technological imagination. A vision of energy that flows freely, of systems that work in harmony with the planet rather than exploiting it, of inventions that serve humanity without gatekeepers. Subscribe if you haven't because stories like this, they don't stay quiet forever. The truth about Tesla's missing blueprints may have been temporarily obscured once again, but history shows us that revolutionary ideas have a way of resurfacing when the world is ready for them.